viewers, it's Blaze and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to day two of my 31 days of Halloween. Um, before I start this video, I want to apologise profusely for my voice. Um, I'm sick, as you can tell. Um, I've been sick for the past couple of days, um, but I've had work, so I haven't been able to rest. And then today should have been a day where I rest, but I have videos to film, so here we are. Um, it's currently quarter to four in the afternoon and this is the first of many videos that I have to film today so let's get going um, so as you can see today's look is 11 from Stranger Things um, as it stands currently the second season has not come out yet so I'm so fucking excited to see it I loved season one Eleven is by far my favorite character she is just so cute I just have a thing for little vulnerable characters who don't have a lot of hair I also love Pepper from American Horror Story they are my babies I would adopt them both and love them <laughs> um, yeah so this is like a super super easy tutorial if you've got a costume party coming up and you've no idea you're not really in to go in all out loads of liquid latex and spirit gum then this is such an easy look to do uh so my dress is thrifted my cardigan's thrifted the wig i picked up was about seven pounds you can find a blonde wig at any costume store however it's slightly more difficult to find one with a center parting and no fringe i found that was kind of difficult so i had this one specially ordered in at the place i work but you can always look online. So yeah, like I said, super easy. You can do it cheap and you can do it quick. So what more could you want? <laughs> um, this was such a fun tutorial to film. I had a lot of fun. Um, yeah, I just love that I'm 11 right now. I'm gonna spam Jake with so many pictures. Um, I was gonna film a part two to this tutorial um, to show you how you could uh, look like 11 in most of the other scenes when she has no wig on. But I bought a bald cap and it's far too small for my head. So um, yeah, basically I was just gonna pop a bald cap on, spirit gum the front down and use a dark brown face paint. This still has the wrap on it. A dark brown face paint and sponge um, it all over to look a bit like stubble. And if you wanted to, you could use different shades of face paint and that would give you the kind of effect of having stubbly hair. Cause obviously, a lot of you guys, or I personally, I'm not committed enough to a Halloween costume to shave my head, so that would be an alternative, um, which I could have showed you, but I bought a shitty board cap. Don't go to Pound World for your board caps unless you have a small head. <laughs> I'm going to stop talking, get on with the tutorial, and yeah, let's jump right into it. I'm going to start with a base. I can't use words right now. Um, I'm going to be mixing together a foundation, which is Gosh's Exceptional Wear Foundation in 11 Porcelain, with um, my moisturizer, which is from Soap and Glory. I'm going to mix these two together because I don't want a super heavy base, but I do want a bit of coverage. So I am going to do that. <laughs> uh, just excuse the mess that this tutorial is going to be because I'm sick. I'm actually just putting a tiny blob of each. Um, yeah. I'm just mixing them together on my hand with my finger because it's a super quick way to mix it together. Yes, I'm going to take Real Techniques Expert Face Brush and blend that sucker in. But I need to put my hair out the way. I washed it last night so it's all fresh and poofy and sticking in my foundation. My beauty blender and I'm just going to blend over and make sure it's all blended in. <laughs> go over any spots that need a little bit of extra coverage with a concealer and I'm going to be taking NYX's HD Studio Concealer in uh, CW01 so just their lightest shade or the lightest shade that I've found I'm going to set all that with a translucent powder this one is Cryolans take the only natural brow pencil I own which is the Too True Eye Definer. I took this from my sister years ago. Sorry Casey, <laughs> I have your eye pencil. Um, it's a brown 
eye pencil doodad thing and I'm you don't want any kind of structure or neatness I'm just literally just gonna add a little bit to my brows I'm gonna do a little bit of bronze because I am mega pale and 11 isn't that pale luckily I still have an old bronzing kit so I'm gonna a big brush this is a multitask brush from real techniques um, I just want a big fluffy brush I don't want loads of definition because we're not contouring here I'm literally just adding a bit of warmth to my face so I have this palette here and I'm gonna mix together these two shades this is probably the kind of shade I want but I'm gonna cool it down a little bit because I'm still terrified of warmth <laughs> I'm gonna focus it more on my cheeks in a kind of contoured fashion, but I don't want too much of a actual contour. Okay, I've managed to get some foundation on my lips, and as you can see, Eleven's lips are slightly pinky, so I'm gonna dab a little bit of color on, but I don't want anything too mental. I'm gonna try this Maybelline Color Dream lip pencil that I have lying around. Um, in this shade. I'm going to tell you the shade and the name and stuff. It's not cruelty free. I don't recommend it. I'm just using it up because it's in my drawer and I'm going to just lightly put that on my lips. It's not going to be sharp. It's not going to be defined. It literally is just going to add a bit of color that I've taken away from using my foundation. Key to this look is a no makeup makeup. Obviously she's not perfect and glam and pretty and contoured and all the things like that. I'm just going to add a little bit of eyeshadow just to give my eyes a bit of something because I feel so weird without any kind of anything. So I'm going to be taking Matt Lopez from the Meat Matte Trimony palette and I'm just going to be dusting that over my eye just for a bit of something. I'm just going to take mascara and do the tiniest little bit of mascara. This is Essence's Lash Princess and I'm only going to do this on my top lashes but really only a little bit. Next I'm going to be taking some fake blood, this isn't any particular brand or anything crazy, this is just from Hembrand, I got it from work because I get it on a discount. And then I'm going to be taking a cotton bud to apply it with because we don't want loads, this is not a super gory look, this is just Eleven's little bloody nose. Okay, I'm going to do more on the right side and then a little dribble on the left. The only problem with this blood is that it's not as runny as I'd have hoped. I was hoping it was going to be like mega runny so I could literally just drop it, but it didn't work. Okay, be super, super careful with fake blood because it mega stains literally everything it touches. Um, so that is pretty much it for the makeup. It's honestly like super, super no makeup makeup with a bloody nose. It's so quick. So I'm going to go and add my costume and my wig and I'll be right back. Here is my finished Eleven from Stranger Things look. So I have two different Eleven pop vinyls. The first one is without her. This is what she looks like. So we both have our little dresses on. We both have a little blue jumpery thing. I didn't realize, but hers is more like a little outside jacket. Mine's like a knitted cardigan. Um, but you know, close enough. Both have blood coming out our nose. She's got like the extra dirt and stuff on the pop vinyl, it's the bit when she like runs away, disappears, she steals the Eggos, um, and she's like out in the wild, she, you know, loses the wig, that's that part, but it also has the keyring version of little Eleven with hair, who looks a little bit like Daenerys Targaryen as a pop vinyl, um, but again she has the dress and the cardigan and the Eggos and stuff, but this time she has the wig, so yeah. Thought these would be good for reference. Um, yeah, so this is my look. Um, it's a hella easy uh, Halloween costume, literally some kind of dress. This is um, thrifted, thrifted pink dress with a white kind of collary thing, uh, big blue oversized jacket, and then a blonde wig. Yeah, literally no makeup, bit of blood, 
and it's super easy costume it's so fun to do like I said you could do the the other one um, the other look when she doesn't have the wig and she's all dirty and stuff but that would take a lot more effort because um, you would have to do a bald cap and add some kind of look over the top of that yeah <laughs> so this is my 11 look I hope you guys enjoyed it um, if any of you guys try this out please tag me on Instagram or Twitter because I'd love to see it it's such a cute look and extra props if you have an Eggos box I'm pretty sure they don't sell Eggos in the UK so unfortunately I don't have a box of Eggos but if you do I'm jealous I'm pretty sure they're waffles but I, I don't even know what they are but yeah, <laughs> um, so if you try this look out, tag me, I'd love to see it. Let me know what you guys thought down below, and I will see you tomorrow for more spooky content. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye!